Hey everybody, I'm here at uh, Holy Cross uh, Cemetery in Colma, California, just south of San Francisco, and I'm here at the great uh, Joe DiMaggio's gravesite. Thanks for joining me on another trip down memory lane. The only two hotels that I was able to find right here in Colma were the Traveler's Inn where I stayed and another hotel that was next door. It came to $166 with my Auto Club discount, which seemed pretty high, but it was a nice room and I got a good night's sleep. And the green area that you see there right before the hills is the Holy Cross Cemetery where Joe DiMaggio is buried. So the location really couldn't get much better. And the city of Colma is only 12 miles from downtown San Francisco. I know that many of you like to see more of the cemeteries on my trips, so I'll show you what this cemetery looks like by driving from the front gates to Joe DiMaggio's final resting place. Just inside the main front gates to the right hand side is this directory which makes it easy to find your way around the cemetery. Heading up the hill to the main mausoleum at the very end of the street, you pass many smaller mausoleums that are just as impressive. You pass the first roundabout and head to the second roundabout and Joe DiMaggio's crypt is on the left hand side. Have you ever seen this many private mausoleums in a cemetery before? I don't think I have, especially not in California. And here's the second roundabout. DiMaggio's Crypt is just to the right of the Moynihan Mausoleum. It's the smaller black crypt that you see there, and there's even a small parking area in front. Joe's grave faces east, sort of southeast, so it's in sun most of the day, which is great. Now you can see lots of people have left things. He's, he receives lots of visitors. I don't know what this is. Oh, uh, Ghirardelli chocolates. <laughs> and it looks like some wine, flowers, lots of baseballs, baseball bats. That's pretty funny. I don't know, maybe he was a chocolate lover. One of the most famous baseball players of all time especially in our lifetime, baby boomers, and earlier. Actually, he was born in 1914, so even though uh, he was very famous in my lifetime, he was born long before me. He was uh, born um, around the same time as my, uh, my grandmother, I think. There's a picture of him and Marilyn. Yeah, I know him really most just for, not so much for baseball, but for uh, you know being married to Marilyn Monroe, being the subject of Simon and Garfunkel's song, and just a big part of pop culture the whole time I was growing up. He's either been referred to or been the subject of more than 50 movies, TV shows, and songs, both when he was alive and since his death. DiMaggio was a center fielder for his 13-year Major League Baseball career with the New York Yankees. He was an all-star in each of his 13 seasons and played in nine World Series championships. And in 1955, he was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. His nicknames were Jolton Joe and the Yankee Clipper. And I find it kind of interesting that he and Marilyn Monroe were married on January 14th, 1954, just about 12 miles from here, as I mentioned earlier, at San Francisco City Hall. So I'm going to show you how to find his grave. Now, I've seen other people visit his grave before, but no one's ever that I've seen shown how to get here. So the, the Great Mausoleum, well it's not really called the Great Mausoleum, it's just the main mausoleum, is right at the end there. Now if you come in the front gate here, in fact, let me come around here and just show you. It's such an interesting cemetery. There's so many mausoleums. This is like a mausoleum row here. All right, so here's the mid-century modern chapel, which is really cool as well. So when you come in the front gate, you come straight up and the first thing you'll see is this mid-century modern chapel. You go around it to the right, you come up here. So when you get to this section, if you're looking for his grave, just circle around here. And then he is right here by Moynihan. So this is the Moynihan Mausoleum here. Enjoy the Maggio, just to the right. And it's also kind of interesting to think that if uh, they had remained married, 
Marilyn Monroe might be buried right here next to uh, Joe DiMaggio, or maybe Joe DiMaggio would be buried next to Marilyn Monroe in Westwood instead of uh, Hugh Hefner. It's kind of interesting to think about, isn't it? <laughs> they just weren't meant to be, unfortunately. And here are a few more private mausoleums that are nearby. And look how realistic this stained glass window is. It's as impressive as it is sad. And here are a few others just to show you the variety. I also received a few photos from Joe Randell, who's a subscriber of this channel and also a big baseball fan. Joe recently visited the grave sites of baseball greats Billy Martin and Babe Ruth at the Gate of Heaven Cemetery in Hawthorne, New York. Martin died Christmas Day 1989 at the age of 61, and Ruth died in 1948 at the young age of 53. Joe also visited the final resting place of Hall of Fame Major League Baseball player Mel Ott at Metairie Cemetery in New Orleans. Ott also died young at the age of 49 in 1958. So thanks so much, Joe, for sharing these photos with us today. And in my last video, I invited all of you to send me photos of yourself taken at Disneyland or Disney World during a family vacation or road trip. I'm happy to say that subscriber Josh Owens took me up on my offer and sent me these pictures of himself at Disney World taken in 1987. Josh was eight years old at the time and is turning 40 years old in a few days. So happy birthday, Josh. I hope your birthday is as memorable as this day was 32 years ago. And maybe you'll even get a few birthday wishes in the comments section from other subscribers. I also want to give a shout out and a big thank you to my latest Patreon supporter, Michael Hernandez. Thanks, Michael. Your postcard will go out in the mail this week. If you'd like to receive a postcard that I pick up from one of my trips, click the link down below and become a Patreon of this channel. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you'll be notified when I upload future videos like this one. So until next time, thanks for sharing the memories.